One thing that he hasn't been uh, able to accomplish yet, and that's to have a song written about him. But John, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I just happened. By the way, this is Brian Ma, <laughs> my right hand man at the uh, amputee golf tournament. And one of the reasons it's extremely successful is because I laid all the work on his shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the other thing that John and I have in common is, uh, is our love for being Irish born. So I chose an Irish song called Galway Bay as a melody. So let me try this. Today from far and near we all have gathered For someone who's indeed one of a kind And though now his birthday cake has 60 candles <laughs> You are more active than J.J. Devine <laughs> As a lad Garriston Beach would be his playground And it was there that he began his dream which came true when just after his graduation he became a United States Marine. To defend his country was his only mission and that he did which no one can deny. Though some say that J.J. paid a high price for it He'll say it's just part of being Semper Fi. When he got back on his feet, no pun intended. <laughs> Carolyn Davis would soon catch his eye. After courting, they would wed and start a family. Two daughters caused his hair to say <laughs> As if raising a family were not a challenge. Insurance and finance was his career. But in his spare time, he found a few more passions. Soon a bowling ball and golf clubs would appear. John played them both, and slowly he got better. In fact, he did one thing that brought acclaim. Very few would make a hole in one, then later go to the lanes and bowl a perfect game. <laughs> his athletic feat is his latest athletic feat is in hand cycling. Each weekend it's a marathon, it seems. But if his picture is in, in some publication, <laughs> he calls the editor and then he screams. <laughs> I wish I could say there are no more heights for him. But now he spends his weekday afternoons blowing in and out and moving all his fingers. <laughs> Hoping to play some old harmonic tune. But when all is said and done, it is his family. Carolyn's been his love 28 years. Kim and Sue agree that he's a great father. Though sometimes the great eyes will cause them tears. So let's raise a glass to the man of the hour. And in a toast our best wishes combine. May the good Lord find a way to grant one favor. Sixty more years for our friend John Devine. <laughs>